Welcome to the Futurist Public Intellectual. Last month, Sandra Day O'Connor passed away at the age of 93. A lot of people don't realize that her work as a Supreme Court justice is worth looking at closely. While she's most famous for being the first female Supreme Court justice in American history, she's most interesting to me as a clear example of how we shouldn't be expecting the justices to behave like the political lemmings that so many of us are. Except for the vanishingly few, Supreme Court justices very much follow the U.S. Constitution, and their disagreements are not so much political differences, but rather jurisprudential ones. If you follow any side's jurisprudence to its logical conclusion, it will be generally consistent, and that's really all that we can ask for from humans. O'Connor was President Reagan's first Supreme Court justice, so many people expected her to behave Republican, so to speak. However, this is an expectation that people seem to continue to have, despite regular historical counterexamples. O'Connor is one of those counterexamples. O'Connor did not contribute to the overturn of Roe v. Wade, nor did she dismantle affirmative action. While she upheld matters like the First and Fourth Amendments, she was not consistently reliable for the conservatives. People need to start appreciating that this lack of consistency is precisely an indication that being a jurist is not automatically a political endeavor. I really respect O'Connor because it's hard to consistently be the swing vote in cases, particularly when you're being scrutinized for being the first woman on the Supreme Court. In the end, she herself didn't make a big deal of her gender. She said, it really doesn't come down to how I feel about a case as a woman. At the end of the day, a wise old woman and a wise old man are going to reach the same decision. In this age of wokeism, it's refreshing to look at a trailblazer like her and see someone who didn't exploit their minority status at every turn. Maybe we should just focus on doing our jobs well like her. Thank you for listening to The Futurist Public Intellectual.